please? I could. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. He's a, my sound man. He's my, and also an awesome neighbor. And he's, he told me today that he's got a corned beef brisket and uh, what else? Mashed potatoes and cabbage? Yes. Oh gosh, I can't wait. He makes the best brisket ever. So anyway, um, so I'll tell you all a bad, bedtime story. And anybody that knows me very much at all knows that I have kitties. And uh, I've got four kitties. And, or do I have five? Nine. Nine. <laughs> I think I have five. It's hard to keep track. It's like the old Mother Hubbard, you know? Um, and then I have a dog. I got, just recently got a puppy. And he is a, um, a shepherd, Australian shepherd, Jack Russell, Beagle, Chow mix of some kind. And a husky's thrown in there too, I think. And uh, he weighs 50 pounds and he's eight months old. And today he caught me between a tr there was in between the tree and the leash and literally wrapped around the tree and pulled me into it. And, and, and you know, so I've got a few scars. But uh, the one thing that people don't know about me and the kitties is uh, I sing to them. And I go out in the woods and we, we take walks and they respond to whistles. So if we go a lot out along the riff, river, when we get as far as we're going to go, and we'll go like a half mile, maybe sometimes three quarters. When we get ready to go home, I'll turn around and head back towards the house and I'll whistle all the way. And when they, we get back to the house, they get their supper, which is salmon dinner. And so I literally can just walk all over Bynum with these four or five cats following me. And usually two or three of the neighbor's cats come along and sometimes three or four neighbor's cats come along. And so I'm sort of the pod popper cat whisperer of Bynum. Uh, but when the kitties, they're very brave and uh, very smart, of course, they're mine. They have to be, they're like my children, you know. And um, they're very, 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 very sweet. But sometimes when they get scared, like if we're going to the vet, or if there's a really bad thunderstorm, or like the 50 pound puppy is standing at the window and barking at the UPS man and won't stop, the cats will get scared and so I sing to them, and they each one have their own song. Now, and the song is sort of tapered, tailored to the kitty. It's like Gilligan, he is the youngest cat that I have, and he's a, about a year old uh, Russian blue. He, somebody found him in the yard and out in front of my house. He was a pound and two ounces when they found him. He had about four or five intestinal parasites of different description. He's cost me about $4,000 in vet bills. And, but he's a whippersnapper kitty. He likes to chase the other neighbor's cats away. Everybody else just ignores the neighbor's cats. But Gilligan, he's got a territory to support. And he has his own rap song. That's his, his song. And y'all forgive me for singing because I can't sing worth a flip. But you just... This is your bedtime story, so just hang with me. So his rap song is, I am kitten and my name is Gilligan. I like to swim the seas and climb tall trees. And when I'm done, this is what I say. I am kitten and my name is Gilligan. Baby is my sister, Allie is my friend, Parker is my uh, buddy, and Sammy is my bro. Baby's not really, 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 really wants to be my mama, but she ain't because she acts that way. My name is Gilligan and I am kitten. I like to climb the trees and swim the seas. And when I'm done, I like to sleep all night and play all day. And this is what I always say. I am kitten and my name is Gilligan. So that's Gilligan's song. Uh, Allie, Allie has a, a version of You Are My Sunshine, which I will all recognize, except the way I sing it is just horrible. It's, you are my Allie, my only Allie. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, Allie, how much I love you. Please don't ever go away. And her sister, Parker, I also found Parker and Allie in my front yards. 
They were five and six ounces each when I found them, and they were so skinny. You could, you could feel their little rib cages like the end of your fingernail, like the end of your thumbnail. They were so tiny, and I prayed, God, please don't give me these little kittens and then have them die on me. Allie didn't even know how to eat out of a saucer, and Parker, she knew how to eat out of a saucer, but she didn't know how to use a litter box. Allie had been with her mom, Kitty, just a little bit longer, I think. She knew, she very fastidiously knew how to use the litter box. So she taught Parker how to use the litter box, and Parker taught her how to eat out of a saucer. So it just goes to show you that having a good sister is always a really, really good thing. Just stay close to your sister. You'll be all right. So, but Parker, her song, it's a version of uh, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my Parker, Parker, mine. You are mine and mine forever. Oh, my Parker, Parker, mine. So that's the kitty, those kitty songs. But my favorite kitty song is one I actually wrote myself. But I did Gilgan's song too, but it's a rap song. But I wrote, actually wrote Baby's song, and I spent a long time. Baby was about four weeks old when I got her. And she was a farm cat. She was my Uncle Pete's barn cat. And her mama, baby's mama, had gotten killed uh, in the driveway. And so I took, I brought baby home from the mountains. And she used to sit on my chest underneath my chin. And she still, she's 12 pounds now, still likes to sit under my chin on my chest. And almost every night I sing her this song. Oh, I love you. Yes, I love you with all of my heart. My heart is happy when you're holding me tight. Oh, I love you, yes, I love you with all of my might. My heart is happy when I'm holding you tight. So in this time of unknowns, I just wish for y'all that you are with you, who you love tonight and you are holding them tight and that you can give each other comfort. And don't worry if you think you're ugly or you think you're fat or if you think you don't have a story that anybody would want to hear or you can't sing worth flip, you might be wrong because I think you really can. Thank you and good night from beautiful downtown Bynum. Thanks for being with us. Good night. <laughs>